Bristow's Test Kitchen on the road. Here we are at Bistro 1907. Here we are, historic downtown Youngstown. Right. Once again, Mike, on a supporting Sunday our morning. Penguins. Go Pens or Gwins or however you say it. I think we can do the Gwins. Pens is the so hockey team. Yes. Gwins is these. All right, yes. very good. Yes. I should know that. I covered them for years. But yeah, you're a sportscaster. No. Um, <laughs> I want to ask you a couple of questions. This is Sunday morning. Sunday mornings. On the show. Yes. And so we have brunch. When the show's going on, we're getting ready to get buried by our our brunch patrons. That's right. The show yes. starts at 10. When's the brunch start? Starts at 10, and there's usually a line at the door. Is it is Saturday and Sunday? Saturday and Sunday. Really? There's a line? On Sundays, usually. Sometimes on Saturdays if the hotel's got a big occupancy. Okay. The draw for them, a couple of things. Well, we do it. Typically, we do a very, what I would like to call European, a little bit upscale brunch okay. service. And then, of course, behind us, we have the beautiful Bloody Mary and Mimosa Bar, which, which gonna, can be bottomless if you want it to be. And we're going to feature that, and that later comes with on. a warning in the broadcast. <laughs> That's right. We have we have wardens watching you just to make sure it doesn't get too crazy. Uh, the, some of the more popular items on the brunch menu are fried chicken and waffles. I've had that. Yes. It, let's describe that a little bit. It's got. Oh, the it's chicken. a classic waffle. You know, not a Lego waffle. It's a made-to-order waffle. Beautiful. Yeah. Huge. And then we take a chicken thigh, we marinate it in our spices and buttermilk dressing. That's right. And then we crispy fry it like southern fried chicken. Mm -hmm. And then we put that on top of the waffle right. with sriracha maple syrup. I was going to say, the syrup is not your regular old no, maple it's syrup, right? $80 a gallon maple syrup with sriracha hot sauce in it. Really? Yes. Did you um, like see that somewhere or did you work no, that in your No, it just kind of made sense to me. Just really? Made sense. You know, I, I've been born with this gift where kind of recipes just float down from the big guy into my brain. I don't right? know how it happens. Wow. I, we, you know, wherever I get inspiration from, I know I just got back from Mexico. Uh -huh. There's a whole bunch of things I want to do because I, I saw a tremendous amount of great ideas. Yeah. And, um, you know, just, I'm a very much a guy that is a sponge when it comes to the culinary world and anything I see or taste, I can reproduce. A lot of us don't have that gift. It's my <laughs> gift. Just say. <laughs> gift or curse. Yeah. Depends on yeah, how you look at it. It just depends. Uh, this is one of the more popular yes, items. It's a French omelet made French in the classical omelet. French way, which a little yes. bit different. You start off in the saute pan, you know, with your beaten eggs, you go in with the, the, the liquid with the eggs, uh -huh. but then you take a fork and you kind of push it around and scrape it a little bit till you get like a flat pancake. Thin, almost. Yes, and then you stuff it with whatever you want, whether it's herbs and cheese, which we do, uh -huh. and then you kind of gently Pull it up on the side, the pan up on the side, mm -hmm. and kind of let it rolls down like a crepe onto and then the plate. Go across yes. like that. Do you do like my mom will put a little bit of milk in there to make the eggs fluffy or I don't anything? Do, I don't do the egg thing. I don't okay. do the egg thing. So I don't do the eggs. milk thing. It's just eggs. It's just eggs for me. Eggs, salt, and pepper. That's it. That's it. Keeping it simple. Keep what it can you fill your omelet with here? Oh, anything. I mean, we, we take, like I said, chives and Swiss cheese is typical. What we do, Gruyere cheese, Swiss okay. cheese uh, is what we do. But you can fill it with anything. I mean, if that's what you want. I mean, we're not a Denver omelet kind of place. <laughs> okay. Okay. But if that's what you want, sure. we'll, we'll, we'll make it come we'll true. Put the for vegetables you. for you, right? Yes. What? Uh, give me one more item on this brunch menu that you. Uh, my favorite is probably the croque madame. Croque madame. Okay. What is it? Uh, it's the most fancy it's a ham and cheese sandwich. Okay. So you take great brioche bread, uh -huh. butter it, toast it. Then you fill it with a really, really amazing American, whether it's a smoked ham or just a natural ham, uh -huh. Swiss or Gruyere cheese, put it back together, get it on the flat top, make it happy, uh -huh. and then you cover it in creamy bechamel sauce. There's and then sauce on the sandwich. There's sauce on the sandwich. Not in it. And it's it. just amazing. And then yeah. you top it with a sunny side egg and fresh chives. And it's just crazy good. And it comes with a free safe salad which free say not everybody knows what free say is. I mean, it might look like a garden weed to you, but it's very delicious and I love it. Yeah, it's kind of good for you, right? It's absolutely good for Put you. Put your vinaigrette on top, mm -hmm. you're good to go. That was a light, fun breakfast. It's a light, fun breakfast. I love it. All right, give me the hours one more time. 10 to two, Saturday, Sunday. Is this, do, would you do reservations? reservations? A must. When should I call? The day before or the day? A week before. Like, do you get here at nine or anything like that? Getting here at nine doesn't matter if you don't have a reservation. <laughs> All right. You'll so. get a bar seat for uh -huh. sure. Uh huh. But outside of that, if you, especially if you have a larger party, it's a must to give us a call. All right. That's this episode of Pesto's Test Kitchen. When we come back, we're gonna we're gonna have some quench our thirst. Yes, we will. Okay.
still, still finishing up, buddy. I'm just enjoying my French inspired omelet. Part it is very, and that is a, about a perfect omelet. Omelets should have zero color to them whatsoever. What do you mean? Just, they should be like this color right here, just that beautiful light yellow color. Yeah. They shouldn't have any like caramelization on it. Oh, that's, that was fantastic. Well, thank you. That's just part of it. Now we're gonna have something to wash it down with, right? But you know what? It's one of our things we're known for. People have a lot of fun. And Saturdays and Sundays are a lot of fun for, <laughs> we should just call it champagne brunch. We should. We should. We should. Because so, it's, it's, it's a really great fun time. Bloody Mary bar. Bloody Mary bar. Mimosa bar. Which can be unlimited on both. If you want to. If you want to. Yeah. And then you build your own. You build your own. We give you, basically when you come. So today, I typically, I like vodka, but today I just got back from Mexico. Yeah. I'm gonna make what's called a Bloody Maria, which I don't know if all you guys know about this out there, but it's the Mexican version of a Bloody Mary. You can also make a, a Bloody Molly, which is, you know, we're gonna be past St. Patrick's Day, but uh, a Bloody uh, Molly would be good as, as well. All right, uh, yes. Notice while he does this, these wonderful glasses from Steelite. Steelite. This one's edged. And the patch. Uh, yeah, all hand etched. I mean, just so they have the most amazing John Miles and his team were very blessed to both have the showroom here and now yeah. his corporate offices are here. I'm going to hit it with a little a original Cholula. Okay. For a little spice. A touch of Worcestershire. I just like to call it L&P because I can never really say that. You did it. Did I say it? Wor Worcester. Yeah. Worcester. The W sauce. Mm -hmm. A touch. Oh, a um, little uh, horseradish. Ha and I love this organic from Trace Agave's Bloody Mary mix. It's just fantastic. Okay. And you can build that up at the bar? You can build it right up at the bar, absolutely. And there's more things over there. There's cheese, there's pickled garlic, pickled olives. Mm -hmm. uh, there's pickles, different kinds of pickles. There's hot peppers. Well, we're gonna give that just a little bit of a stir first. Oh, okay. To make it happy. Because you just don't want to get pure tequila or pure horseradish mm -hmm. in your bite. And here, we're gonna put that that in there. You know what? I'm gonna use because it is Mexican. Uh huh. A little squeeze of lime. Ooh. So you, okay. why don't we start with yours? You're I'm gonna... going uh, with a mimosa. So what I'd like to do to kick up the mimosas, we have probably ten or twelve different various bitters over there, and a bitter really just takes your cocktail and elevates it. It, it. It's not bitter in taste. It's bitter because it's like an aromatic. That was it, right? That was it. Two drops. Okay. And now you add in either your champagne or your mango nectar, your choice. Let's I, go champagne. I always feel like the, the juices are heavier and they go down yes, into the do. vodka or yep. the champagne. Is go that... ahead and pour away. Okay. Tell me when to stop. Well, for me, say when. Well, well, I, say I, like, I, I, I like more bubbles than juice. We're just gonna color it with the juice, right? <laughs> is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. Yes. How many different juices do we have on the uh, on the bar? Usually no less than eight. You know, we love the Goyas, Seriously? the Human X because they have great mango nectars, guava nectar, strawberry, banana, pear, all different flavors. Then we have your classic juices, apple, cranberry, mm -hmm. um, orange juice. Um, so wonderful different juices. You know, you can add lime, lemon, orange to it. We have blood oranges over there today, blackberries, blueberries, strawberries. Just dump them in. Just dump it in, yeah, yeah. exactly. All right, so now you just want to top it with that. Mango nectar. Mango nectar. Oh, that's lovely. It is nice. And then you're gonna top it with whatever garnish you want. We got a beautiful strawberry right there. I can just go across. And like that's that's gorgeous. Places. Isn't it gorgeous? It's really nice. Yeah. Do you have anybody just work their way down the line of juices? Yeah, and then sometimes they fall at the end. <laughs> it's, uh, we need some more. So uh, I, I should say that when you do get the bottomless, just make sure you remember it is not a sprint, it's a marathon. Right. Okay, and, and don't drink like 22 of them because you will face plant. And make sure you have plans to get home <laughs> safely, yeah, right? Safely. And we have been known to call Uber or friends or whatever because we don't want our guests at all having any concerns when they get behind the wheel of the car. Absolutely. All right. So we try to be responsive. Give them the hours for the uh, brunch one more time. Kiss 10 to 2 o'clock. 10 to 2. Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday. Yep. Make reservations if you can. I would, if you have anything over a four top, for sure a reservation. Mm -hmm. And if you even have a deuce, sometimes you need reservations. Very good. So yes. call ahead. And we have Easter buffet, Easter brunch coming up. Coming up at the end of the month. Yeah. Is that a buffet or just a menu? It's going to be a buffet that day. Okay. Yeah, but a lot of like mom's favorites, a lot of pro, a lot, and there's a lot of dad's favorites in there. Yeah. Just. A, a lot of combination. It's an Italian American Easter buffet. Because, you know, I'm me. Italian by descent, but, you yeah. know, it seems like I have more Mexican blood running through me seems with, like it with Oaxaca Taco. Same hours for Easter? It's Easter, we're going uh, 11 o'clock for the buffet through 5 o'clock. Oh, so it's going to be all day? Yes. Yeah, Very all day. good. All right. All right, cheers. Should we do a little toast? Yeah, toast. Okay. Oh my gosh, I haven't had one of these forever, and <laughs> I just flew. 
Me neither. Oh, that is so delightful. I don't know why you don't like that, Mike. I have a little, I'm not big on tomato juice. No, I don't like it. <laughs> they actually made me thirsty. Add one to the list. Here's a drink that makes me thirsty. Well, you gotta watch how many of these you drink because the sodium's gonna come back and- No, it wasn't the worst. It wasn't the <laughs> Good idea on the horseback. It's like, like a little that? kick in there. A little yeah. kick in there, definitely. All right. there's Pesto's Test Kitchen for this Sunday. Sounds good.